It's an insular society. You know much more about America than they know about you. They don't have to know about you. You yeah. have to know about them. So breaking that barrier is really, really hard because they don't have the time or the desire or the need to learn about what's <coughs> going on in the rest of the world. Most of them don't know the capital of Canada. Hmm. How will they know what's going on here? They just don't. Hopefully in time with um, Muslims living in America, leading exemplary lives, they'll get to know Islam this way. I think that's the way it should be done. Now you are getting back to my own story now. So I became a Muslim in during 1980. I went back. Thereafter, I went to do research for my doctorate in Palestine. The way there, I, I was in Egypt in January 1981. That's the first time in Egypt. I, was, I arrived in Egypt. And even in Alexandria, where I now live, I visited in 1981. And I remember getting a pamphlet from the mosque, from the Islamic Conveying Message Society, back in 1981. Uh, okay, Kareem. Uh, also you gave us a brief synopsis about your life and mm -hmm. how did you accept Islam. I would like to know what were specific problems that face you when you embrace Islam? The first big problem was getting my yes. doctorate. Yes. I wasn't able to Is get it. In it. Arizona University. In Arizona, yes. And being a Muslim was part of it. It yes. wasn't the whole reason, but it was part of the reason. Yes. I remember one of my professors telling me, wait to do the jihad till later. سألت الشيخ عبد الكريم عن أول مشكلة أو المشاكل المعينة التي قابلته عندما اعتنق الإسلام فقال لي أن أكبر مشكلة قابلته عندما اعتنق الإسلام هو حصوله وعدم حصوله على درجة الدكتوراه في جامعة أريزونا بسبب اعتناقه للدين الإسلامي. Okay, uh, I, I told you before about the uh, uh, ideas propagated against Islam in the books of fanatic writers. What about you? That was the old days. That, that Islam spread by the sword. Uh, ah, some of that still, people still believe that, that Islam was spread by the sword, that Islam is nothing but a cheap version of Christianity, yes. that the Prophet, peace be upon him, was a womanizer marrying a nine-year-old girl. Well, you... you Many rumors or false things like that are still in people's imagination to this day. A bloodthirsty religion. But of course we know this is not true. That's it took Islam hundreds of years to spread over the world. And if that was true, why are there still millions of Coptics in Egypt? Why are there still Christians in Palestine? Jews in Morocco? So obviously that's... With it. Sure. Uh, short paragraphs. Fun. Do you really know the truth about the true religion? Peace on those who follow the guidance. This magnificent universe with all of its complex systems was created by Allah, the one true God, the most high, the most <coughs> powerful, the most merciful, the most wise. If you believe in him, you should also realize that he didn't create all of this frivolously. Rather, there had to be a greater purpose. What could be a better and more perfect purpose than to worship him alone? Look around you. Everything has submitted itself to the Creator and never reverted. The earth itself, the trees, the stars, the rivers, the moon, the sun, etc. But what about human beings? Isn't it true that some are not grateful to their Creator? Isn't it a shame that some of them worship false gods other than Allah? Go on. Islam is a way of life that means submission to the will of the Creator of the heavens and the earth. He sent messengers to call the people to worship God alone. Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jacob, Jesus and Muhammad, may peace be upon them, were sent with this one message. There is no one worthy of worship except Allah, the one only true God. No ambiguity, no confusion. One God, one religion, one I'll go message. back to the, the negative ideas about Islam in the United States, mm -hmm. such as uh, Islam treated women uh, badly. Mm -hmm. How can you deal with these uh, false allegations? That's a tough one, because America is in <coughs> the throes of a concept known as feminism. And frankly, this is a concept which is against Islam. 
Mm. It's a concept which can never, and the way it's taught in America, never come to terms with Islam. Because it, it says that um, women and men are equal in the sense that they have the same duties, the same responsibilities. And mm. this is not true. Men and women are equal, but different. Mm. We're not the same. Mm. But with feminism, you go to the same bathroom. Mm. Uh, so it's just a concept which is. الحق يخاطب به الرأي العام العربي بعد بعض حالات النقوص العلماني التي رأيناها في شرائح من الفكر العربي الموجود. In your opinion, what is the complete meaning of Islam? Tawhid, mm. and that's why I became a Muslim. Tawhid not only of Allah but of everything. Mm. Uh, there is a unity in Islam, unity of nature, unity of man, we're all brothers, mm. we're all equal, there is no racism. This was another big reason I became a Muslim, because I could see racism everywhere in America. Mm. And people would admit it, but they could say there is nothing I can do about it. Mm. Luckily I didn't have this, to a large extent at least, I mean it's always deep inside, but Outwardly, no, I always knew this was an evil concept. Mm. Mm. Uh, this was one of the things that attracts many Westerners to Islam. And this is why most Muslims in America are black. Mm. Because they're the victims of the racism. Mm. Mm. Uh, America, like that. Mr. Mahmoud, like as well. You told, uh, you told us that the most common essential problem that face you when you oppress Islam is that you didn't get to be today in politics, okay? What, what, what's about studies. Yeah, yes, yes. Mm. What, what's about your family? No, my mm. family, you see, in America, uh, the Christians are of two kinds, mostly. You mm. don't have the Orthodox, like here in Egypt. You've got a few, but not many. You've got Catholics and Protestants. Mm. Uh, the Catholics, I find, to be more open-minded. Mm. They judge you by what you do. Mm. Well, the, when you read about the fundamentalist Christians in America, these are the Protestants. Mm. These are the tough ones. But my parents were Catholic, so they judged me on my behavior. Mm. They were sad I became a Muslim, but they could see I was respecting them and leading a good life. Mm. I think deep down they always thought they would become a Christian again. Probably wishful them? thinking. Did you call your family to embrace well, Islam? But part of this concept in America, whether you're a Catholic or a Protestant, is uh, you don't talk about religion. Hmm. You don't People talk about or, religion. Or politics. Or politics, yes. yes. It's considered bad form. Yes. My parents didn't mind me becoming a Muslim, but they didn't want to hear anything about it. Okay. So, would you like to recite some verses now? سألتوه أن يتلو لنا بعض آيات في القرآن في حدود ده yes. One minute I'll try سورة الشمس I'll try سورة الشمس هو يريد أن يتلو سورة الشمس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وشمس ودحاها والقمر ذا تلاها والنهار ذا جلاها والليل ذا يجشاها والسماء وما بناها والأرض وما طهاها والنفس وما سواها فالهمها فجورها والتقواها كرفلها من زكاها وقد خاب من دساها كذبت ثمود بتقواها إذ انبأث أشكاها فقال لهم رسول الله ناكة الله وسكياها فكذبوه فجروها فدمدم عليهم ربهم بذنبهم فسواها ولا يقاف أقباها